Hello guys, and welcome back to Wildstar. We're on the Head Start weekend right before we go live. Yeah, that's fantastic. Went with a human spell singer this round. Say hi. Hi. So, part of the Head Start weekend, we get our deluxe uh, edition perks. And it's down in this little icon in the corner for the account inventory. So you can see as I've got 110 boom boxes and the rocket ship, a couple other things, and some things unlock at certain levels or certain situations, and uh, I can't wait for the hoverboard. I'm not really positive I'm going to stick on this character, so until I get a few levels I'm not going to pull too many things out, if anything, right now. Um, costumes are on there, of course so that's pretty cool. But just so you guys know, I, we're on the uh, we're on Nexus. I didn't s start recording in the uh, ship just because I didn't feel like showing the whole tutorial area again. And unlike normal, I didn't stay in the human area. I went to the Anything uh, happened? Ready to hear what you're doing next? The uh, celestial forest or cove or whatever. So the, uh, the Orin and Mordash starting area. So, um, just because I played the other area like 15,000 different times, I thought I'd start playing for So it's something new. Not that it got old, but this is, this is for reals. So I think I'm going to stick with the Spell Slinger so far. Uh, real test is going to be around level 20 or so. It seemed like each character that I played that got up to 20, the difficulty rating got a little bit more. Or it was more determined on your stats, your amps, your skills, whatever. How, however you adjusted it and set it up for yourself. So it'll be fun to play around with. Kill. Plus, if I want to, I can always go for a healer. I can switch over to heal spec and heal too, which would be kind of fun getting used to. Rescue the exiles from the traps. And there's a holdout up here too. So just to give you guys kind of a forewarning first day of Head Start, I'd say pretty much 95% of the servers were full when I started, when I started a little late this morning. No idea if they're going to add more servers or raise the server cap or what. A lot of people have been complaining about lag. I haven't seen much, but I don't debt. know, it might be my system. Alright, 
Let's go do a holdout. Pick soldier this time, because I kind of like the the instant heal, the uh, escape to safer areas, little buffs. Seems kind of cool. Probably going to regret taking it. Settler is always badass. I probably should have stuck with that. Those exiles are counting on you, soldier. Defend them at all costs. You're showing the most boss, but you still got some work to do. Stay frosty and defend those people at all costs. Almost there. Hold that position and keep those people alive. Or you'll be answering the me when it's over. When it's over. It ain't over when it's over. It's been fun, but now things are about to get serious. Hopefully you brought the big guns. Flag right out of them. Those people owe you one, soldier. So there are still a few things in here that are a little bugged out, like that little mini that pops up for that buff, and other things that you move around on your screen. They tend to go back to where they originally were whenever you log back in. Swiftly speak. Same with the uh, chat log or the chat box. Every time you change the stuff on the chat mini or the chat, you know the profanity filter or the mouse over the size, it tends to go back to the original every time you log back in, which is slightly annoying, but hopefully it's something that they get fixed. Don't get ran over, no! Achievement uh, granted. Got an achievement for getting ran over by a stampede of deer-like creatures. And yeah, if you're looking at the chat right now, day one, there's already gold standards. Grab the psychedelic mushrooms. in here somewhere.
And since we're actually playing for real this time, I guess I'll uh, work a little harder on collecting all the lore books and data cubes and stuff. Oh, there's a quest on the uh, mini map there. Extract serum. Something to do down there. Bottom brings you back up. But how do you get down? You jump. Oh, that's right. There's a data cube. Creating sentience from primal life is an important aspect of the Elder Root Initiative. By constructing these primal infusers, I have been able to create a stable physiological matrix around an advanced power core, resulting in an organism that is created from pure energy. The success of this experiment bodes well for the larger goals of the Nexus project. Not gonna get me this time. Yeah. All right, find the queen and find the big door. Oh no. <laughs> After surviving an attack by the psychopathic forests of Everstar Grove, the exiles have discovered a massive tree that was once an ancient Elden experiment. I think if I talk to the queen, she'll send me right back up to the picture. So let's go talk to her first. I know it's been hard for all of us since our oh, Boria, but don't lose hope, okay? 
may play a game too much when you made progress. Soon this experiment will come to an end. <laughs> Dot. Never really did like that ability too much, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Alright, collect living cores. Yeah, so apparently all my my uh, key bindings got deleted. I play with a Naga mouse, so <laughs> it kind of makes a difference when the keys don't do anything when you're used to pressing them. So excuse me a moment while I fix my stuff. And here goes the oversaturated spawn in the area uh, problems with having everybody start. The game doesn't, but yeah, it happens. Seems like respawn rates pretty quick. And at least if you get one hit on the mob, you still get credit for it. Well, it might be more than one hit, but as long as you hit them. Like that. Power flowing.
So once we turn all this in and see what happens, I will call it an episode and continue on to the next area after that. Alright, speak to the door. So look up a big giant robot tree. I believe we can be of much use to one another. Such pain, such pain. Don't ever give up hope. Sometimes it's all you have. I was wondering what kept you. I presumed it was death, but that's just my way. Okay. Let's go sell some crap. No negotiations. So I think before we take off into the next area to do the quest, we're all yeah, because they're over here. Let's go ahead and take a break, and um, we'll see you in the next episode. This is Gorga from Better Family Gaming, and we'll see you in the next round. Later, guys.